President Joe Biden is starting the campaign year by evoking the Revolutionary War to mark the third anniversary of the deadly insurrection at the U.S. Capitol, seeking to present in the starkest possible terms an election he argues could determine the fate of American democracy. I think it is top of mind and something that's extremely critical for a voter when you tell them that somebody that is running for president for one of the major two parties in the United States is saying that they would be a dictator, Quinton Fulkes, Biden's principal deputy campaign manager, told the Associated Press. Biden's advisors say Friday stop near Pennsylvania's Valley Forge, the location where George Washington and the struggling Continental Army endured a tough winter during the American Revolution, will highlight former President Donald Trump's role in the January 6 siege and give the Democrat a chance for him to lay out the stakes of this year's election. Whether concerns led Biden to move up his appearance from Saturday, Biden will characterize his predecessor as a serious threat to the nation's founding principles, arguing that Trump, who has built a commanding early lead in the Republican presidential primary, will seek to undermine U.S. democracy should he win a second term. Trump, who faces 91 criminal charges stemming from his efforts to overturn his loss to Biden and three other felony cases, argues that Biden and top Democrats are themselves seeking to undermine democracy by using the legal system to thwart the campaign of his chief rival, Joe Biden and his allies are a real and compelling threat to our democracy, Trump campaign senior advisors Chris Lachivita and Susie Wiles wrote in a memo this week. In fact, in a way never seen before in our history, they are waging a war against it. Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft.